welcome back to Synergy Technical's fabulous podcasting booth. I'm joined today by Lexi, and uh, Lexi is relatively new to the company, but she brings a very vast array of, uh, of uh, security knowledge. And I kind of wanted to pick her brain a little bit and see what got her into security, uh, what fascinates her with security, and actually kind of more specifically how she keeps up with it. So uh, thank you for joining us today, Lexi. Really appreciate it. So yeah, tell me, what what is it about IT security in particular that that keeps you enthused and keeps you engaged. So a quick background about me. Um, I grew up in an IT household and going into college, I said, I'm going to be a business major because I'm tired of IT. I hate it, it's all I know. But then I was actually brought back to IT um, through podcasts, um, Darknet Diaries, which some of you may have listened to. Um, that's really where I found my passion and that's where I started doing some more research. Um, I have a, a security Twitter account that I've been kind of trying to be plugged in about. Um, and so that's really where my security background started. I'm really passionate about it because similar to most IT, it is forever changing. The job that's the job of your dreams might not exist right now, but will be in five years, you'll be the executive, you'll be the chief security of cloud officer. Um, so you just really never know where it's going. So for someone who enjoys learning and research, it's been a great little niche to find out about what's coming in security rather than being really overwhelmed with a stuck set of rules that are never gonna change. So how do you stay abreast of it, right? Obviously podcasts you mentioned, but what else? You said you're on Twitter, right? And we're yep. gonna make sure that your Twitter handle is uh, on the on the video. Uh, but what where should people be looking for information? Googling keywords and going to the news tab of Google has been incredibly helpful both in my professional world and back in education and uh, for my daily research. Um, there are so many fantastic um, blogs and websites. I think we all know ZDNet. Um, there are a ton. I think there's CyberWire. There are a ton of different websites that have fantastic news reporting. Um, and then again, making sure you're really curating your Twitter. Um, I know Adrian's on Twitter as well, uh, in the same space as I am. So finding those you know smaller accounts that maybe don't have the as many followers or like a verified Microsoft executive, they're the ones that are really curating that content. Um, they're looking for bugs, they're looking for any sort of big um, data breaches, so you can kind of be tapped in and be one of the first people to know. You know, as people are looking at moving into the, the InfoSec world, uh, in your experience and in your, in your knowledge base, would you say it's better to specialize in a, in a very narrow siloed range or to keep a broader approach to security? I am incredibly nosy and I like to learn about everything, um, but with security being as broad as it is, and there are so many different providers as well, um, I think it can be really helpful to specialize in a certain aspect, but that doesn't mean you have to pigeonhole yourself and be restricted to that aspect, but it's good to kind of say, I'm gonna focus on security specifically in the Microsoft world for Azure and stay really in tune because there is so much going on, it is hard to keep up with every single aspect of InfoSec going on all the time but you definitely want to stay abreast with everything because even if it doesn't affect you exactly in this moment it could affect you a year later yeah and to your point that you made earlier right the, the job that you might want may not exist yet however the job that you might have siloed yourself into fixing may also not exist right. in three or five years too so yeah it's important i think to, to kind of keep that that balance of going deep on some things and, and staying broad on others well i really want to thank you for your time today you. um Thank you for joining us. I hope we catch you next time and uh, enjoy our majestic podcast studio. <laughs>